Hi gang and welcome to the Game Day Grub Series. If you are looking for the perfect snack before the Lions take on South Africa, then check out this smash burger. It's incredible, it's a tweak on an old favourite of a cheeseburger. It tastes unbelievable. Follow this video now to watch and listen. Shall I try it? Do it. Oh my God. That is unbelievable. And welcome to the Game Day Grub Series in conjunction with Traeger. Now today we are making a variation on an old favourite, a wonderful cheeseburger, but we're going to do smashed burgers. We're using the Ranger once again. Now this is Traeger's really versatile portable grill. Preparation time of our special Traeger smashed burgers. Now, first of all, the all important mince. Now what we've got here is some really nice ground beef. It's a 70-30 mix of, of beef to fat. So you're gonna have really, really nice succulent flavors, tender, and the fat's gonna be amazing. You will see there is a little brown assistant walking in and amongst my feet. His head appears everywhere. We just have to ignore him because this is as professional as I can possibly make this shoot. We've got the Traeger with the cast iron uh, plate in there, heating up nicely for when our burger is going to be frying perfectly on there. I've got the, the uh, traditional accompaniments for your burger. We've got cheese, we've got some uh, gherkins, tomatoes, iceberg lettuce, and of course, our brioche buns. So what we're going to do first of all, we're going to roll a ball up of, um, of mince. So now we're going to uh, weigh our balls, my favourite part of the day. You know, we look for 80 grams uh, worth of balls, which are reasonably hefty balls, which we're going to obviously squash flat on the tray. I probably should stop saying balls, I think. Um, that's 77, and that was just by eye. So, I mean, there's no professionals, but obviously, clearly Gordon Ramsay and Jamie Oliver need to watch out. 85, I mean, look, it's there or thereabouts, isn't it? You know, no one's going to come up and check. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the, uh, the grill. We're going to put these balls on there. The next phase is to make sure that we've seasoned our balls. Now these were 80 grams as we talked about, we put salt and pepper on them. We've got the Ranger up to temperature. We've got the cast iron plate in as we've talked about. What we're gonna do is we're gonna toast these brioche buns. It locks in some nice bit of flavor and keeps them from going soggy and nobody likes soggy buns. So while we've been uh, crisping up our buns, we've had a nice little cast iron skillet going with some onions just to fry them up nicely. And now we've got our buns, we're just gonna take them off and see that they've got a nice bit of color, nice little toasting to them, and they will lock that flavor in. So when we put the, uh, the, the juicy beef on it, they're not gonna go soggy and, um, and go all spongy and fall apart. Because the meat's gonna cook so quickly on the Ranger, and the Ranger gets to such a good temperature with that cast iron plate, we need to build the burger first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the lettuce on first. Nice bit of tomato, big beef tomatoes. Now, if you're into gherkins, we can put a couple of those on there on each one. Now, there's obviously a different, you know, traditional sauces you like. I always like a little barbecue sauce. We've got an apricot barbecue sauce here, which works really well. And I'm gonna have one without. Okay, now we cook our, our burger patties. We're using a bit of, of uh, paper here. We're just gonna push that down. We'll flatten it out perfectly. We're gonna do two at the same time. And the idea is we're gonna cook these, you're gonna get the nice crispy edges because we've done so thin. Okay, it's flipping time now. So I turn the Traeger spatula over the other way, slide, flip it over. A bit more skillfully than that. So now we're gonna put the cheese on. Oh wow, that is some seriously melted cheese. Like a glove. Perfect snack before the Lions take on South Africa. It's incredible. It's a tweak on an old favourite of a cheeseburger. It tastes unbelievable. 